Hi everybody, Denny Joe here. Um, in this video, I'm going to do a cloud pour. I wanted to show you some of the coasters I've done in the past with the same technique. Um, back when I used resin, I don't use resin anymore. It's just too much of a hassle for me. Um, I have lots of pets and I get lots of pet hair. Um, but I, yeah, this is how I used to do my coasters. And I really liked how I would just do a straight pour every time and and just somehow it was always different. They were I never had two that looked the same. And I really liked the colors too. I like how the yellow and the white mixed together in the middle there. Um, and then I think this last one's yellow, mostly yellow. <laughs> this one's my favorite. Um, it looks like little flowers in the middle. It's so pretty. But anyways, that I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, you can check out, uh, there's another video, previous video that um, was a cloud pour and I used Sargent Art craft paint. Um, but in this one I'm going to use Artist Loft um, white. So here I'm showing you all of my Master's Touch um, tube paints. So there was Viridian and there was Yellow Ochre and Thalo Blue. Um, you can see here the below is the recipe. I, I used a tiny bit of the black to darken the blue. This is what I am used to make the cloud. The white part is satin, deco art satin enamel and artist loft soft body. And Floetrol is my pouring medium. All right, so I'm going to layer my colors here. Um, the bottom, the first part I do is the yellow ochre with the white. And I put the yellow ochre in first because the white likes to rise up through it. I also drop it in pretty um, fast from a height so that it mixes in really well and then you get the, the really mixed look with the white and the yellow. Um, and then I like to contrast that with the dark phthalo blue, the darkened blue. I like those colors right next to each other. It really makes the yellow pop. And remember the the colors that you put down first are going to be the colors that come out last. So those will be the ones that are in the very center of your painting. A lot of the times the things that you put in last in the cup are actually going to get tilted off. So when I do put the white in you'll notice that I do more of like a squiggly lighter layer and then the colors I try to do thicker, more solid layers. I am trying to mix in that light blue though. I really like that, the Viridian. All right, here's some little drizzle of cloud. Do some more yellow ochre. I think these nice little thin layers of the Viridian and the yellow ochre here mixed together to make a really pretty green color. All right, I think we're set. I'm going to pour this out here in a second and play some music and I hope you enjoy watching.
All right, here is the wet reveal. It is so pretty and I like how puffy the little cloud parts are. Um, this little stripy area up here is really cool looking. It really took on this nice subtle green color. Um, it's just really intricate. Um, and I really like it. I really like this style. It always surprises me in the best ways. So I'm going to show you a dry re result photo. And thank you so much for watching.